All right, Shalom. First off and foremost, I want to say, Kahala Yahweh, Bashimi Haushai. Kahala Yahweh, Bashimi Haushai. Brekate Yahweh, Brekate Haushai. Brekate Yahweh, Brekate Haushai. Double honors to my apostles and elders of the Great Millstone that rule well, starting with the Apostle Hard None Down, the true man of the Lord who taught the truth for over 30 plus years. And Shalom to uh, you, uh, sincere Akims that's pushing the truth to seal their elect. You know, that's all uh, around the four corners of this earth. All right, and Shalom to confusion of faces, you know, you're just like foreigners that's also in, into the fold, all right? And, you know, uh, basically, man, I just want to get, you know, a scripture or two, you know, really going to be like a quick lesson, you know, of how, you know, not to be conformed of this world, you know, and to not, you know, love the world or anything that's in it. Matter of fact, I'll get that one first. And first, I think it's first, John. First John and 2 and 15. And it says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Con. So if, if you love the world or anything that's in the world, you know, and what is that? Like cars, clothes, you know, you know, uh, women, you know, uh, the fiat money, you know. If you love any of those um, items, you know, more do you love the Father than the Father no, then, then, then the love of the Father is not in you, right? Because the treatment of the Lord is going to abide by the Yahweh Bashem Shai's, you know, word, all right? They, they're they're going to take heed to 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 these scriptures, all right? And what's that? They're not going to, uh, you know, go back into the world, you know, and, and do the things that they did, you know, before before they came to the truth, man. Because the scriptures say, you know, um... You have to take off that old man, you know, roughly paraphrasing, you know, that, you know, put up that old man because you love that old man in the in the world. All right. So you can't go back so much because once you come back to this truth, I mean, it's so like once you come back to the knowledge of knowing who you are, you know, as an individual, knowing who people are as a, as a, a nation, you know, you can't go back to the world because this truth is, is, is sincere. All right. This truth is serious. All right. This is this is not, you know. A, a part-time job, man. This is a full-time, overtime thing, all right? Because this thing of ours, you know, you know, Akim, this thing is uh, is real, is real deep, all right? And people took that to what we're doing for not, like it's not, you know, serious. But the treatment of the Lord are, are going to take this thing like like it's, like it's no tomorrow, man, because, you know, they're on fire, all right? But going back to the topic, you know, yeah, I man, you can't be confronted of this world because the things are, are like that's consumed in this world, you know, is is basically man folly, you know, is vexation of spirit, and you know, and you know, because what you have, you have homosexuality, you know, you have you know women women with women, men on men, you know, have pedophilia, you know, uh, you know, uh, motherfucking excuse my language, you got uh, the woman ruling over the man. You know, the women are straight out of order. You know, uh, carnal, car, be everybody just carnal. You know, have, have evil spirits, man. All right, most of all, man, Esau, and he controls all that shit, you know. Esau, satanic, demonic. All right, and that's a part, those are things of the world because Esau, this, this is this is his kingdom, all right? And if you love his kingdom more than you love the father and doing the father's work, then you should be ashamed, all right, because... You know, just like it says in Revelations, if you, you know being lukewarm, the Lord's gonna spew you out. And if you only you know going on in the highways and byways, you know, you know, in certain days, you know, the Lord's gonna spew you out for being lukewarm. All right, like you can't be just be sit back and be a sadder Israelite. You know, you can't be a part time Israelite. You know, because because what do you do when the cameras are off? You know, have to work on your own salvation. You know, just like the scriptures say. But going back to the topic, you know, don't be of this world because this world is, 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 is nothing but just folly, man. There's nothing here. This kingdom is through because we are in the last lap of coming down of Esau's kingdom. All right. You know, uh, a.k.a. daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. A.k.a. the target of thermonuclear missiles. All right. Because even the um the, the, those other nations, man, they hate this place. All right. And, and, and being a true man of the Lord, you know, being a man of the Lord, you know, we see this place also. All right. So don't 
don't keep your mind wrapped around, you know, of this this uh this queendom, right? Don't don't go back into that yoke of bondage spiritually, all right? Because there's nothing there's nothing here, man. All right. And then, like, go back to Matthews. Cause you got, cause like it says in Matthews, you know, don't lay your treasures up on this side, lay them up for the, for uh, for heaven. Roughly paraphrasing. In Matthew six and nineteen, and it says, "Lay not up yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up yourselves, so like, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where ner where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break nor steal." For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Right, man. So rather than you, you know, worrying about, you know, the next car you're going to purchase, you know, the next house, the next uh, clothing item, you know, the, the next uh, female you're going to pop. All right. Ain't nothing wrong with that, no, you know. But, um, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. But, you know, it's always about you know, keeping balance. You know, the, the scriptures say keeping balance, you know, it's, you know, it's good. You know, it's because it says, uh, and the false balance is abomination to the Lord. All right, and nothing wrong, you know, resting, you know, you know, doing things that you know that you know that you like from from here and there, you know, because a brother, because you know, Jake got to rest sometimes, man. You know, he got to take a break from the scriptures, you know. But you know, but don't have your heart set upon this place, you know. Don't always be consumed in this folly, all right? Because don't don't uh, work so hard for, for this world because you can get it stolen fast as you as you bought it. All right, a thief can break into your house and steal everything you work for, which is just vanity. All right, but it says in verse twenty, and it says, "But lay yourself treasures in heaven, where moth nor rust, where neither not the moth nor rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal." All right, and what's that? You know, doing the work, man. You know, building your foundation, and, and you know, for 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 your uh to, to obtain that spot in the chariot. You know, to uh, basically you know. Filling your spiritual bank account to be found worthy in in in, in that day, All right? Because the Lord, you know, He started He's he, He's He's beginning to sift out, you know, even though He has, but you know, I, you know, He's beginning even more to sift out men, you know, out of this out of this truth. All right, He's beginning to uh to to spew out men that's that's becoming lukewarm, you know, that's uh, becoming you know lazy. And just basically just gave up. All right. And that's a scary thing, man. Just like it says in the book of Hebrews, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the, li of the living power. All right. Yahweh, the big dog, the boss. All right. Because, man, I know for, you know, speak for myself, man, that is scary, man. All right. Because we didn't last lap. All right. Hey, man, you know, that's really, you no. Know, that was in my spirit. how to get it out. All right, man, because, you know, don't confirm yourself to the world, Akims, all right? This word is just bullshit and foulness, you know, if that's even a word, you know, it's a lot. But um, just fill it with just, man, I have no words for this because this place just is defiled, man. All right? So don't, so, you know, just don't be, you know, don't be confirmed to this world and have your mind wrapped right around Esau's kingdom because it's soon going to come to naught. All right, that's said the Bible. All right, but you know, Lord willing, hope this edifying. You know, you know, uh, we uh, like you know again, just keep it during Akims. All right, we're in the last lap of this thing. All right, so call, I was going to say call lay how about small shy, bracket day how and bracket the house shy. You know, with that being said, shalom. We're in the last lap.